Welcome to today's broadcast. No matter what kind of day you're having, please remember that God is big and God is good. He is bigger and better than you think. I spoke at a youth camp a couple of summers ago in western Oklahoma. The wind was so strong on the last day of the event, to keep my breakfast from blowing off of my paper plate, I had to hold my hand on the bacon and eggs. How do you all stand this wind? I asked a person from the area. Oh, you get used to it, was the reply. Any region of the world has things about it that only would be put up with by those who call the place home. Those things to anybody else would fall somewhere on the fear factor between being annoying and being terrifying. Wherever we go, no matter how wonderful the place, it has its share of trouble. We read in John 16, 33, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. To move to another level with God, such as a new level of freedom, or understanding, or gifting, or ministry, or vocation, is an instant setup for frustration as well. Wherever God takes us, no matter how wonderful the place, it has its own share of trouble, just like the last place did. And if anyone asks us, how can you possibly live with all this trouble and still smile, we can respond. Oh, it's no trouble with God around. That's the perspective God wants us to have when he tells us to fear not. He wants us to go wherever he sends us, whether it's a new job, a new ministry opportunity, a new understanding, or any other place that's new to us. And not miss a beat because of fear. He wants us to be bold, courageous, and confident. For more, visit GiveMeThatMountain.org and have a great day.